Well, they responded yet again. From CGC Mike. Kind of feel bad for this guy because he takes the brunt of it in the forums. We have seen reports that some of the soft plastic wells used inside of the CGC holder exhibit a curve when viewed from the side. Yup. After learning of this, months ago, we conducted an extensive review and found that the smallest well size, which is used for the thinnest comic books, is more pliable than the other wells, and in some cases, some, will exhibit a slight curve. You don't say. Importantly, this curve does not cause any damage to the comic book. Oh. And it does not affect the grade in any way. <laughs> the angle of bend required to create a stress line simply cannot be done within the CGC holder. In addition, very high grade comic books can still exhibit minimal stress lines according to CGC's official grading standards. Gets better. We do not consider this slight curve to be a mechanical error that requires reholdering. Still, we're always listening. And want to serve our customers the best way we can by doing nothing for us. We have found that our next largest well size does not exhibit this slight curve and have started to use that well in lieu of our smallest size. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. It doesn't cause damage, according to them, but they're going to quit using it. Right. We appreciate all of the feedback from our community, and we are grateful to be the hobby's first choice for grading for nearly 25 years. Well, I hope you enjoyed that 25 years while it lasted. Many of us are collectors too, and we care deeply about the services that we provide. No, you don't. You care about the money. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please write us to service at cgccomics.com or call or text us and we're just not going to care. CGC reminds me of this short I've seen so many times on Facebook. It's two drawn characters. And one character asks the other, how are you feeling today? The one character says, kind of depressed and fucking awful. And then the other character responds, yeah. Next time say good and then shut the fuck up. CGC's take would be, how are we doing? And you tell them how bad they're doing. And they respond, next time say good and then shut the fuck up. Because we don't care. This is a 9-8 book. Was a 9-8. I don't see how this is a 9-8 anymore. Here. <laughs> Here. Uh, that's just a different angle right here. 9-8, <laughs> folks. Can it be pressed out? Yes. Does it now potentially have color-breaking spine ticks? Yes. Hopefully not. But you don't know until you actually crack it out, press it, and then send it in for regrading. So, CGC says it doesn't damage it. Uh, does not qualify for a mechanical error. But for some reason, they're going to stop using these smaller inner wells. Ah, it's so weird. Why? Why? 
it, they have spent months saying that the slight curve is uh, within their quality standard. Uh, it's allowable within their tolerances. But now all of a sudden they're just going to ditch it and start using the next size up inner wells. Why? If there's not an issue, why? Why do you need to do that? It's because there is a fucking issue. And this is bullshit. And basically, they've decided that we can just kick rocks. <laughs> not the response I was hoping for. Uh, I am going to attempt to call them in the next week or two and demand that they take my books back press them, regrade them, and slab them at their cost, not mine. You don't get to say that there's not a problem with your current inner wells, but then say you're going to stop using them. Well, if there's not a problem, why are you going to scrap them? How many tens of thousands of inner wells are they just now going to not use when they claim that there's nothing wrong with them? Seems a little bit contradictory, but maybe that's just me. Well, there's my Amazing Spider Man 252. Did it have a few color breaking spine ticks when I submitted it? Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I figured the book was about a 9 2, 9 0, 9 2. It came back a 9 4. I was very happy about that until I looked at it in the light. They look worse now than they did when I sent the book in. To me, this book is not a 9-4 anymore. Now it's a strong 9-0, 9-2. fully emphasized spine stress lines now on that book. My Wolverine, number one, limited series. That looks fucking awful. Also a 9-4. Not as bad as the Spider-Man, though. But rippled. Just rippled. Right here. And you can see that there is a small, very small, color-breaking spine stress line right there. But this weird... <laughs> I don't even know why it even bent like that. Why it... Why it like this one here, I mean, you can clearly see where they kind of go out. But this one just got this weird rippling effect in it. Slight curve, folks. If you guys have not seen the interview I did with Spine Ticks Pressing uh, last week, I will have a link to his channel down below. Go ahead and check it out. Uh, I did cover quite a bit. He asked a lot of really good questions. I, I thought it was a pretty good interview. Uh, I would love to do another video with him sometime, collaborate again. Um, in that video, I had stated, he asked if I was done with CGC for good. And I said, it depends on how they respond to this. I think it's awesome that they're not going to use the smaller inner wells anymore but they're not doing anything for us that have books currently slabbed in these banana wells so as of right now yes i am done with cgc they have no plans to make it right with anyone and there are tens of thousands of books out there that people are not going to want now so kind of stuck with, I could crack it out, I suppose. Then I spent all that money on nothing. But I also have no confidence that this is not going to cause any long-term damage to the books. What else do we have here? This is an interesting part of the statement. So the smaller inner well is more pliable. 
Fair enough. I assume CGC has been using these wells for quite a while. Why haven't they curved before recently? I think we just got confirmation that the new sealing techniques are applying too much pressure to the inner well. Um, there has been four more pages since that statement from CGC Mike, which is coming from CGC. Uh, Dan JD, a few questions for management. If there is nothing wrong, why switch to the other inner wells? How much do these more, quote, pliable wells bend before being shoved into the smaller space in a slab? If there is enough of a problem to switch out inner wells going forward, should all the current impacted books be submitted for reholders to get the larger inner well that will not bend the books? For those that were already reholdered but just put back in the same pliable inner well a second time, should they be reholdered again to get the proper fix? Yes. Yes, they should. At CGC's expense, not the customer. <laughs> Mad genius. You gotta love how they frame minimizing the curve as doing a favor for their customers. Quote, the curve is normal and great, but if you don't like it, I, I guess we'll try to eliminate it. Uh, not, not, not a whole lot of happy people with this. I did take pictures of my books before sending them in. I'm going to try to include some before and after in this video. But if, if you want to see from the statement on, it's either page 70 or 71. You can start there. Um... More pictures and stuff included, I believe. Uh, W.I. Parker 824. Y. Parker, we Parker. So let me get this straight. Your inner wells cause the bends, but they don't cause the stress lines that many have posted as examples. But also you're telling us stress lines are allowed in high grades, which seem weird to add to a statement in which you've already made the bold claim that the benefits or that the bends of those defective wells aren't causing stress lines. That was one long sentence. Then we go on to say that even though we're not causing stress lines and these are allowed in high grade anyways, we don't think it's worthy of a mechanical error, but we're changing out the defective wells going forward anyways. So it's a big enough problem to trash your existing inventory of these defective wells, likely a lot. He is correct on that. It's got to be tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands. They're grading thousands a day. But it's also actually not a problem at all for all the thousands of books we've already slabbed with these wells as they never cause damage. No reason for mechanical error. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Um, it, that de definitely, this, this is worth a read. <laughs> CGC waiting for people to accept the curve. <laughs> uh, I'm not accepting it and I'm going to keep fighting them. Um, I'm, I'm not completely caught up. I have not gotten caught up with what's been posted today. Uh, but that gives you a bit of a rundown on the whole situation. Not happy. Uh, it's great they're not going to use those inner wells anymore. <laughs> but if you're not going to use them anymore, then, then you're admitting there's a problem. Because you know there's a problem. I don't really have much else to say on this. I'm thinking about doing a video on... The, the timeline as to when this was kind of first reported um, and the different responses that CGC has had. Um, I might do that in the next couple of days. We'll see. But there you guys go. Uh, that That's 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 their response. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them, but we're not going to use them anymore. And those of you that have them, kick rocks. Thanks, CGC.